We're taking on one of my favorite rose fragrances today in the Saffarbond.com contributor review. That is Lyric Man by Amouaj. And we're also going to talk about Lyric Woman by Amouage. Both of these were launched together. And you're also going to have a chance at winning one of these fragrances, the Lyric Woman or the Lyric Man of your choice if you are in the USA. So please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button below. And also please click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And today we are reviewing one of my favorite rose fragrances. As I said, it's Lyric Man right here by Amouage. And I've had Lyric Man in my collection for a good four to five years now. And I absolutely love it. It's because it's a rose, it's jammy, it's juicy, it's dense, thick, but still very fresh that you can wear in a warmer summer days. Lyric Woman is pretty new to me and I've been studying it, wearing it here and there. And these two fragrances are completely different. Very, very different fragrances, but still focusing on the rose uh, note as a dominant note here. And that's why you've got red bottles here, rose, red, red roses, all that good stuff. Both of these fragrances were launched in 2008. Perfumers are different. We've got Daniel Visentin for Lyric Man, and we've got Daniel Morel for Lyric Woman. And for notes for Lyric Man at the top, you've got bergamot and lime. In the heart notes, you've got rose, angelica, orange blossom, green galbanum, spicy ginger, nutmeg, and saffron. And for base notes, you've got pine, sandalwood, vanilla, musk, and frankincense. And for notes in Lyric Woman, at the top, you've got bergamot, spicy cardamom, cinnamon, ginger. In the heart notes, you've got rose, angelica, jasmine, ylang ylang, geranium, orris. And in the base notes, you've got oak moss, musk, wood, patchouli, vetiver, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, and frankincense. So these are completely different fragrances. They start out with uh, the rose, of course, as a dominant note, but they both go in completely different directions. I've heard from many people that Lyric Man is a bit on the feminine side for them. And even though I don't find it to be feminine, I find it to be very unisex. Uh, I can see why some men would think it's feminine. And uh, for Lyric Women, I actually find this to be a little more on the masculine side. So it's kind of like what they've done is like a little bit of gender bending here and uh, making, you know, the men's perhaps a bit on the more feminine side and the women's perhaps a bit on the uh, masculine side so that both sexes would have uh, interest in wearing both of these releases. What happens with Lyric Woman is it's, it's very, very spicy and it's also very dry and the notes of sandalwood, rose, and nutmeg, cardamom, musk, those are ma basically the major players. And Lyric Woman tends to be a little closer on the skin and it's more cozy to wear this one. It's still spicy and uh, sort of on the oriental side, uh, but more closer to the skin. If you're more into that more dry, woody, sort of oriental type of uh, rose fragrance, that's definitely unisex, uh, I would go with Lyric Woman. Um, it's, it's quite beautiful actually, and I could see myself pulling this one off in the fall, in the spring. Uh, those are the kind of uh, seasons I, I would uh, go with, and I'll, actually perhaps even summertime. And, and you know, if you want something soft in the winter, then yeah, the Lyric Woman would also be fine for winter as well. But with Lyric Man, I find it to be a very bright, happy rose scent, whereas this one is a little more on the darker side. This one's definitely more cheery, more uplifting, just a fun rose fragrance, very juicy. The rose with the lime and the ginger, and of course the angelica play so well together that you keep wanting to spray uh, more and more. Also the lime gives it a little bit of a tropical feel even though it's rose it's just got this like very uh, vivacious uh, fun festive kind of a vibe to it and that's why I've actually clinged on to this fragrance and loved wearing it. It's just because it's got that vibrancy and happiness um, that's why it's up there. It's, it's up there in my top a uh, list of rose fragrances that just love wearing it, but it's definitely unisex. Like it's 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 definitely says lyric man, but I would actually not even read the man part of lyric, just read lyric and 
if you see the square bottle, the long rectangular square bottle, it's definitely the happy one, more uplifting, more, more fun one. If you look at the shorter, more stubby bottle uh, of Lyric, it's the one that kind of leans more masculine, if that makes sense. To me, it's actually kind of like this. It's more of a daytime, warmer season fragrance here and a nighttime or a cooler weather season here with Lyric Woman. I think that's pretty much explains what I think of these two fragrances and both are great. I'm leaning more towards Lyric Man because I'm so used to it and it's got that cheerfulness but when I want something more personal, it's a little more spicy drier, I would go with Lyric Woman. So there you have it. If you want to try these, definitely get your noses on them. Uh, I recommend both. It comes from a great house, Amouage, and uh, the fragrance offerings there are top notch. And these are uh, probably, as far as offerings go from the house, uh, up there in my top five of offerings from the House of Amouage. If you want to participate in the giveaway for a bottle of your choice, you can either pick uh, Lyric Man or Lyric Woman or Lyric in the Long Bottle and, or Lyric in the Short Bottle, head over to Saffler Bon. I'll have a link in the info box. Click that link, go there, follow their rules and participate in the giveaway for a bottle of your choice. This is a USA giveaway. Good luck with that. Also guys, what are your thoughts about Lyric Man and Lyric Woman? Do you like these two fragrances? Have you thought perhaps Lyric Man is a bit more feminine compared to Lyric Woman being a little more masculine? Let me know your thoughts. Please put down comments. Let's get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.